Tonight's date night dinner will be one you'll remember forever. It'll be served on the beach at the Big Pond. Really? Oh, I can't wait. I love the beach and the Big Pond and eating. <laughs> and on the way there, I thought it might be fun to visit some of the train cars that you don't usually see at night. Follow me. It's just around this bend. There. Um, that's a big dead log. Right. Are we going to play a balancing game on it? Or plant a new garden inside it? Great guesses, but actually, we are going to discover a whole new world right underneath it. <gasps> wow. Cool. Bugs. Ew. I forgot how beautiful it is here. And relaxing. And friendly. Oh, oh Laura. Laura. Hi. Hi. I trust you are enjoying your special date? We certainly are. I wonder if you'd like me to draw a special picture of you two to commemorate your evening. Oh, sure. We'll uh, pose. Come on, hon. Oh, right there. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> There's one with antennae, and that one has black eyes. Oh, and here's one with a bunch of eyes and so many feet. Okay, so they have a lot of feet, but I don't get what's so great about poking around under an old dead log. Hmm. Did you know that even though the log is dead, there's more life in an old rotting log than in a whole living tree? Really? How? Dead trees are a source of food for lots and lots of different creatures. Like these bugs? <gasps> exactly. Everything that lives, including trees, decomposes into food that helps other living things survive and grow. That's pretty amazing for a rotten log. So nothing gets wasted? Right, Shiny. There's no waste in nature. What else is under there? Oh, look That's at great. that! Please. Ready for your specially prepared one-of-a-kind date night dinner? What? Yes, I'm so excited. I'm so hungry and excited. Perfect, because we're here. Big Pond Station next stop. Look, mine is kicking its feet. Mine's eating a dead leaf. Mine is really good at squirming. Mine has the shiniest shell. Yep, those are all great insects. Ooh, Kira, can we bring the log over to the nest? Then we could play with our bug friends whenever we want. That would be fun, but not so much fun for the bugs. Their whole habitat would really get shaken up by the move. Yeah, they're so tiny. Moving it would be like an earthquake for them. Right. It's better just to leave the log here, where we found it. <sighs> At least we can still visit. Two open-faced fish witch grandes for your date night dining pleasure. Oh, everything is so beautiful. Yeah, and delicious. Mm -hmm. How's your meal? Delightful. So tasty. Then you'll love your next course. Shellfish a la Big Pond. Ooh, look at you, eating shellfish for once. Yeah, well, it's just served up so nice. I can't help myself. Besides, I wouldn't want them to think we're not having a good time. Because we are. Wait till you get to dessert. It's simply amazing. We're ready. And so are we. A frothy fish pudding for two. Oh, oh amazing. amazing. Told you. Dinosaur, once upon a time there was a mom. Her name was Mrs. Tyrannodon. Sitting on her nest, she heard a scratching and said, Oh boy, my eggs are hatching. One by one, her kids popped.